Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'd like to discuss a new product release that I've been working on for quite some time and I've had many of my past clients ask me about when it was going to um, come to market and I'm grateful that I got it done before Christmas. Um, many of you already realize that USB input on our computers are being used to the max today with um, the current technology we have, whether it be hard drive, flash drives, motion controllers like the UC100. I mean, overall, 99.9% .9 of all peripherals now are USB based. Um, DB25 is being phased out. Um, again, we know that it is supported, you know, with older, older versions of operating systems like Vista, XP, but 95 to 99 percent of you are choosing to go USB format. It's a much simpler operation. The issue is when we go with USB, dealing with what we deal with in our equipment today, is the fact that we deal with a lot of unseen forces. And I know many of you are saying, yeah, I've already seen your videos on EMI. Um, well, there's other unseen forces with USB. Namely, you're only dealing with a 5 volt actual power source going to USB. So again, it's very susceptible to interruption. That being said, um, USB ports on your computer are very susceptible to ground loops and electrostatic discharge. Now, many of you who have used uh, devices like a UC100 or a USB breakout board may you know use shielded cable may do everything that you can do in your power to make that system as stable as possible yet you still get system interruptions well a lot of times it may not even be emi what actually it may be is due to the fact that you're dealing with either a voltage fluctuation on the device meaning your your computer is not actually supplying your device um, an actual five volt signal which it should a voltage fluctuation on many PCs is um, very prevalent. So it's something that we definitely have to identify and eliminate if possible. The, on top of that, you're also dealing with electrostatic discharge. That could be even more catastrophic to where you're de you possibly destroy your USB input or you possibly destroy uh, any information on a critical drive. You know, if it's on a flash drive, this has personally happened to me. I had uh, computer files on there. I plugged it into the system. I'm assuming it was ESD because the drive worked fine prior. As soon as I plugged it in, it shorted out whatever it did, and that drive was erased. That happens all the time, okay? Very, very prevalent once again. Um, and again, if you damage a USB drive on your computer, that could be catastrophic. You've just decreased the value on your system tenfold, and, you know, who wants to do that? Um, the other factor is, again, is when we're dealing with USB motion controllers like a UC100, we're dealing with issues where any voltage fluctuation, which can and will happen, um, especially if you're using a laptop, because laptops typically are the biggest culprits of ground loops, um, what you'll find is if that, that voltage fluctuates at all on a computer and it fluctuates long enough on a UC100, you can generate a sync error. Okay, um, these are very prevalent. Um, again, Balzas does understand that, the engineer at CNC Drive, and it's just something that we as USB uh, operators and peripheral users understand typically, or should understand. It's just inevitable of the beast. So that being said, I wanted to take it upon myself to introduce a new product that I feel will give you guys even more peace of mind. Um, hospitals have been using products like this forever because they have critical data equipment. Um, and again, if they're using a USB input, these are used all over the place. However, they're not typically cheap and they certainly don't come with the peripherals you see here. They're usually sold online in cheap formats of just bare circuit boards, not a plug and play design, not totally inclusive with a segregated power supply, and certainly not designed around CNC use. So what I came up with is the CNC vest. And again, you can see the bulletproof USB, that's an actual bulletproof vest. What this device does is it's an, a basic uh, USB isolator. It offers your system 1000 volts of DC isolation from your PC to your peripheral. Okay, it does support USB 1.0 and it supports USB 2.0. So you get both data speeds. You'll get 12 megs on 2.0, 1.5 on 1. You do have an isolated integrated power supply in the unit for plug and play operation. And that simply means that if you connect this to your PC, you can actually use your PC's power supply um, to actually power the device's internal segregated power supply. Okay, but again, I wanted the device to be totally complete. 
you also have, if you look at the side of the unit, you've got your USB A port, and then over here you have your power input port for your 5 volt auxiliary power input. You can see up here it says 5 volt 300 milliamp auxiliary power supply. Well, I'm including a 5 volt 2 amp power supply so that you can rest assured your device not only will have a segregated power supply, but have plenty of power to completely give it the most stable power source you can have. Again, guys, stable, a stable system is going to start with stable power and stable signals. Um, that is what these devices are made for. They eliminate static discharge, they eliminate surges, um, and again, they actually deal with uh, ground loop elimination as well, which if you're dealing with laptops, if you're dealing with a desktop, it's, it, I would say laptops are about 95% and desktops are almost, I'd say about 75%. Most desktops actually have ground loops present. Um, and again, any fluctuation in a USB port is going to yield uh, negative results. I mean, it's just bottom line. So you guys, most, most of you already realize that I do have EMI filters in place now for uh, USB entry. If you're dealing with a device that utilizes USB, again, whether it be a breakout board, which uses a DB25 EMI filter, or uh, a double shielded USB communication cable, this is the next step. This is like stage two, consider it that way. Uh, many of my clients, um, past clients, and, and possibly even future clients, uh, may have a full workshop. The more equipment you have in your shop, more prevalent you are to power surges. Again, EMI is, of course, more prevalent. But again, depending on the computer you're using, depending on the power supply in the computer, the ground source of the computer, you could be dealing with lots of fluctuations. We want to stabilize all those fluctuations to give you guys a system that is worthy of being called professional. That's where this device steps in. It gives you guys that peace of mind. Um, and again, I never recommend you spending more money than you have to. I wanted to make this package as cost effective as possible, but it has to be effective. That's the key. Um, otherwise, it's just a waste of money. And realistically, um, many of you who have gone through that where a drive has been erased or your system is unstable no matter what you do you've got shielded cable you've got the emi filters but you're still having problems this unit will 95 percent of the time take care of those other unseen issues um, again it uh, there's no way to determine that on every single system because there's so such a vast variety of them out there and there's so many variables in place but again if you eliminate utilizing just what i've covered in my youtube video series on grounding properly um, using shielded cable using the EMI filters and ferrites in, in the proper format and under the proper text to get that system as stable as possible. And you still have issues. You can rest assured it's usually going to be a ground loop and it could also be voltage fluctuation. So again, that's why these are so prevalent in an industry. Once again, hospitals, um, anybody using um, USB type, uh, very, very, very sensitive devices. Um, Anything you're dealing with, like an oscilloscope um, that, again, has a USB input, these devices will be used, and that's why they're used. And once again, I, I wanted to, I, I realize that in this industry, we've, most of you guys have never even seen a device like this. And if you have, like I said, online, they're very cheaply made. They're typically just a circuit board, and it's just a bare circuit board, or it's got heat shrink around it. I wanted a device that was professional. I wanted it to be inclusive. You can see here with the cable that this unit comes with, I chose a trip light, which is the best name in the industry. Again, lifetime warranty. If you look here, you have ferrites on both sides. So we're filtering on both sides. On top of the connectors are gold plated. Okay. In order to use the device, it could not be any more simple. You've got a USB B port connector. And if you look at just the device, you can see here USB B type goes to your PC. So this cable, you just plug in here, go to your PC. And then over here, USB-A type, which is the standard USB most of you are familiar with, this simply plugs into your peripheral, and again, that's it. That's all there is to it. There's no drivers you have to deal with, nothing. Um, if you did want to use the standard PC's power supply, you'd be done just by doing that. Connect this cable, connect your peripheral, and you're good. If you want to use a segregated, or excuse me, a segregated power source, you would simply use the included 5-volt, 2-amp power supply, and now you have a segregated power source and you're ready to go. My personal opinion, I like to always do this first. Um, if you're troubleshooting, and I do have some clients that want to do that, you can plug in the device to your system, and if you plug it into the system and you notice that all your problems go away just by that, nine out of ten times you've already realized that the unit not only is working, but 
it's most likely voltage fluctuation or ground loop present. Um, occasionally, it could be a static discharge present, but um, usually what you will see when um, measuring USB actual um, data ports is that voltage fluctuation, especially, especially if a ground loop is present, you may see a shift over you know uh, vast operation depending upon what peripherals you have connected and again it will affect and there's most devices you know depending upon what it is if it's a uh, flash drive it depends on how much that voltage fluctuation happens and if that discharge actually occurs and what voltage and capacity it occurs to where it you know you would actually see it you know a lot of times this stuff is really prevalent you just don't see it as much because we have a tolerance level on our peripherals um, with our equipment with CNC, especially when we're sending, we're sending our step and direction signals and anything dealing with encoders, if you're dealing with servos, any of those signals that get corrupted and are only 5 volt signals, guys, you're going to see stability issues. So again, this device, I feel if you're running a business, it's imperative to have. I mean, I, I cannot emphasize that enough. It's actually very cheap for what it is. If you look on the market to see what these cost, and they don't come with half of what this does as far as the, the right cable, the right power source, and it's actually in its own inc incumbent um, case. I mean, it's totally, totally a uh, finished product in my eyes. I hate seeing where I see this all the time. It seems like this in, in just the CNC genre alone, anything electronic to me is done half-assed in just a bare circuit board or, you know, uh, you know, missing cable. We see it all the time. You know, they, they get you on a la carte. I want to do whole kits. To me, if it's not plug and play, it's useless. That's the way I look at it. That's my old outlook. Everybody is different. But with a device like this, I wanted you guys to have not only the best, it's got to be cost effective, and it's got to make a difference in the stability of your system to give you guys peace of mind. That if you're running a business, you don't have to worry about, you know, missing problems uh, with voltage and ground loops and any possible static discharge. So again, I hope the video has been helpful. Um, if you guys Google uh, USB isolators, if you want more information, I'm not going to go too much information. This is, believe me, this is a lot right here and what this does. But if you really find the topic interesting, please Google research it. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you guys have any questions, please, you know, my email is always open. It's storm2313 at gmail.com. Um, you can message me direct there. You can also message me through my e-dealers direct store on eBay. Um, I will be putting a link to this in the description below. So if you guys are interested in it, you can check it out. Um, and again, uh, to all my subscribers, I love you guys. Um, we're growing dramatically. This year has been amazing. Again, it's been very busy now, especially with, with uh, Christmas coming up. Um, I know everybody's getting ready for the holidays. Uh, if you guys message me and I don't get right back to you, please don't think I'm ignoring you. Again, we're real busy right now. So I will get back with you in order as I receive everything and uh, we'll get whatever you have as far as a concern handled. So once again, guys, I, I thank you all. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to message me. Take care.